Jordan Tower with JT News. Well, I know a lot of you were done with this, as I am, this whole Soldier Boy Chris Brown fight. You know, first Floyd Mayweather and 50 Cent looked like they were coordinating everything, and then Adrian Broner was involved. Floyd Mayweather was going to train Soldier Boy. Uh, Floyd Mayweather was setting it up, getting the money together. Chris Brown agreed to the fight. It got a little disrespectful when Soldier Boy started involving Chris Brown's daughter and everything. You know, things were just, it was hot, and then everybody else was jumping in and wanted to fight. You know, Safari wanted to fight Meek Mill. Uh, 22 Savage wanted to fight 21 Savage. You know, you just had all these fights popping up, right? Well, now we're at a point where Soldier Boy distanced himself from WAC 100, Floyd Mayweather, 50 Cent, said he's throwing the fight himself. Soldier Boy promotions. You know, the fight was supposed to be in Dubai originally with, uh, well, first it was supposed to be in Vegas and LA with Floyd Mayweather. Then WAC 100 said he's taking control of it because these guys are Pyru, which they're not. They're not really officially Pyru. And they're not from the West. They're from like different, you know, one's from Chicago, one's from Virginia. Uh, then. Now it's back to being in Las Vegas or L.A. with Soldier Boy, okay? Uh, well, people have lost interest in this fight, and now Chris Brown probably isn't taking it that seriously because now Floyd Mayweather's not organizing it, Soldier Boy organizing it. How can he trust the money's going to handle and everything properly? Uh, and also, Soldier Boy all of a sudden today is facing felony charges. If you didn't read, he's reading, you know, facing four years in prison for the gun chargers that those came back up those weren't thrown out by his lawyer he just got bailed out by his lawyer but that's about it so chris brown now he he went at chris brown and said chris brown's a bitch if he backs out of the fight i don't think so i think chris brown first of all i think chris brown would whoop his ass because he uh he's definitely more in shape he can dance for like an hour straight you know like I don't care how much you train in the next two months. You're not going to get in Chris Brown type shape. That's like some other type of freak type of shit, you know, which is cool. Uh, but uh, I don't know, man. I, I think that uh, Soldier Boy should focus on keeping his freedom at this point. You know, he has those charges he's facing with the guns. Yeah, obviously, he was on probation where he had the, the guns. So they're going to bring that up. You know, it, that, that's a big mess. Uh I don't think Soldier. I don't think Chris Brown would be a bitch if he backed out because it looks very unorganized at this point, and people have already lost interest in this fight. This fight would have had to happen like immediately for people to keep the focus on the fight, or it would have been organized to the point where they're actually training and filming weekly and coming out with an episode weekly. But that's not happening. It's very disorganized. Um, Soldier Boy, I think you should focus on your freedom at this point and not focus on the Chris Brown fight. That's that's just my recommendation. But it's your life, bro. Uh, this is Jordan Tower with JT News, reporting the news as much as possible. Dave. Jordan, Jordan Tower, Tower Films. Films. Jordan, Jordan Tower, Tower Films.